Hello and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. As always, first delete the Scratch Cat. Um, and this time I'm going to do Choose a Sprite because they have some pretty good ones. So search up Paddle and select this one. So this is going to be a Pong style game. So let's call this Pong tutorial. It is an extremely basic game. Um, so first for the Paddle, we want it um, let's just make our paddle do everything we want it to do. Um, so let's move this to the level we want it at. So the paddle can be right there. Um, then we can say on flag. And then we want to say set Y to this. And then we want to get a repeat forever function. And then we want to set X. Or set X. Two, and then let's go to sensing and get mouse X. So now we already have this. So your little paddle to bounce your ball will go to your mouse. And let's save this because don't want anything to get deleted. That's all we need to do with that. Um, let's just look up. Okay, here's a ball. Okay. And then this ball, I believe, yep, has a bunch of different costumes, including purple. Um, you should use purple. <clears throat> I can't talk today, especially when I try and use a high-pitched voice. Okay, so now we have our purple ball. So we want... I'm so lazy. Um, let's drag this over to this part. Um, and let's um, on flag. Um, actually, I want to get rid of that. Um, on flag... I want it to go to the middle, which happens to be zero zero. So you can say on flag go to zero zero. Um, and then after that, I want it to point in a random direction. So I get a point in direction program and I pick random zero to three hundred sixty. So it can pick any angle. Um, and then after that, um, I want it to repeat forever. Um, and then I want it to move um and this will be the speed um and then um there's a nice included block um called if on edge bounce and it just bounces it if you're touching the edge and then so now we have a bouncing ball um the paddle doesn't do anything yet but we have a ball that bounces around so yay um i sound like such a jerk okay so um so now we get an if statement. Just deleted it. An if statement and put it underneath this. Or actually, actually I think we should put it above it just because of the ordering. Um, hey, can you turn off the... Okay, thanks. Sorry about that. Um, and um, so you can... Um, I, I got thrown off. Okay, so get a... If touching, um, and then you want to put paddle. Um, so you'll have to kind of experiment with this, but the most simple thing to do is just say turn 180 degrees. So then it just kind of does that. Um, and that works. Um, it's a little weird though, so I'm, I'm going to do 90. And see, and then if you do ninety degrees, it's basically just like a random thing, sort of. It depends on the direction, but it about it. Um, actually, I'm not not quite sure what we'll do with the new scratch update, but yeah, okay. So set it to ninety degrees because that's pretty accurate. Okay, sorry about the indecision. Um, so now we have our bounce thing. So. Now, let's say, um, let's go to the backdrop really quick, and um, let's make all the way saturated, um, and the outline, I also want to be red. So, you've noticed that there's nothing, like, difficult about this right now, because... 
all you do is bounce the ball. There's not even a, an objective like points. So let's put this little lava thing at the bottom. So now you have a paddle sitting on top of lava. And um, and if we go to the ball, um, we can say, let's get another if statement. And we'll want to put this in front of everything else so that it doesn't move before it checks. Or else you'll get some weird bounces. Um, and then if touching color, um, and then let's use the select color function. So that's the color. Um, so if it's touching this color, then we can just go here or here, I guess. Um, I can get a stop all, and this will stop the whole game. And although I don't really like that because it causes a bunch of glitches. So what I suggest instead is, okay, I'm really confused about where we put some of this stuff. You can say broadcast message one, and then on each sprite, when I receive message one, you can tell it to stop other scripts in sprite, and then underneath it, stop this script. And this will effectively stop all of it without really doing that. Okay, so let's just stick in this stage if we decide to use any scripts in there later. So now, let's just let the ball hit the lava. You can also change the speeds and stuff of your ball, because... You, I mean, you might want a fastball or a slower one. So now the game is completely over. Um, you can also have a sprite that shows up and it says game over or something when it receives the message one, so it shows up. Um, um, first, let's make a score, though. So let's delete the my variable block because I don't like that variable. And score right okay so now we have a score variable so on flag we want to set score to zero and then um then um if it's um if you t if it's touching the paddle then it'll just change the score by one so every time you bounce the ball you get a point and then yeah now you have a point um so, next, um, let's just make a game over one. Um, let's do text. Then let's have it show up right there. And then for the code, pretty simple. On flag, looks, um, you want it to hide. And let's pull out a show function really quick. Go to events. Um, when I receive message one, it will show up. So now if your ball hits the ground, um, it shows up with gr game over. Can you stop laughing about at me? Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, and... I think this is a pretty good base for a Pong game. Um, um, what I would suggest doing after this, um, if you want to continue working on this, is change, is make like a selectable speed, maybe change how many points you get, or maybe add a high score. But that's all for this tutorial. Bye, if I can stop it.